So myelofibrosis is a blood disease in which there's an abnormal clone of cells that grows and when it does it basically blocks the production of normal cells in the bone marrow and leads to scarring and leads to an increase in the size of the spleen and liver. This is caused by a set of cells that have an abnormal growth signal. So for better or for worse we like to think of it as a type of a chronic leukemia where there's an abnormal cell that is taking over and so that cell can then cause lots of problems as it expands at the expense of other blood cells. The implications in the day-to-day -day for a patient are not so significant in the sense that their disease is the same whether we call it a cancer or not a cancer. What I think is critical is two aspects. One is the recognition that there are specific DNA changes that can occur in myelofibrosis cells, and those changes are no different than we've seen in other cancers. So we know there's a much greater link in the biology of myelofibrosis to other cancers than before. And the second is that it, the government, the healthcare system takes care of patients with cancer different than patients with other diseases. More resources, more ability to follow those patients over time, keep track of them, do clinical trials. And so the feeling was that by actually acknowledging what we all really knew what it was, we might be able to get more support to work together to actually uh, take better care of patients and ultimately cure this disease. So in regards to this classification by the World Health Organization, um, it represents a huge step um, for patients with this disease, primarily in terms of research and uh, the fact that myelofibrosis will become a part of uh, mainstream conversation. It is a very rare disease. Um, it is a classification um, known as myeloproliferative disorders. Um, and again, some of those different types of diseases um, can include polycythemia vera and other blood disorders. The fact that it has been named and recognized now as a cancer um, just uh, engages in the promotion of research and it allows the healthcare community really to begin to recognize this um, in a different light. And so it's only going to allow treatment options to grow, it's going to allow research monies um, to really um, uh, develop and it'll just um, uh, allow hopefully for the discovery of, of a curative option um, in the long run for this disorder. <laughs>